You're watching the KUSI News at 6. Father's Day is around the corner, and there is a new book out aiming to bring dads and their sons closer together. Joining us now is author and artist John Para. John, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure, Matt. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So I believe the book is called Growing an Artist, the Story of a Landscaper and His Son. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. So tell me about the story. What's it about? And, and why did you choose to write it? Um, well, the story is basically about uh, a little boy who's excited to go with his dad uh, to his work. And the father is a landscape contractor. And the little boy uh, brings along a sketchbook because he's also an artist. And then throughout the day, they have all sorts of adventures and they meet with clients um, and some really good heartfelt uh, moments throughout the throughout the story. And then at the end, uh, the little boy finds a way how he can use his creativity to help his father uh, with his work as well. So there's kind of like this really wonderful uh, father-son dynamic that's happening and collectively they're working together uh, in very special ways. We're getting the chance to see some of, of the artwork and the inside of the book as well. It just looks fantastic. And I guess I just want to ask you, I mean, why for you personally is it so important to sort of bring this message of bonding fathers and sons together, especially when we get to this time of year with Father's Day coming up? Well, I mean, I had a wonderful relationship with my father. And in fact, the story is based on uh, is a semi-autobiographical account of my upbringing. I used to work for my father, who was a landscape contractor. Mm. And I, you know, was an artist also growing up. And But I learned from him. I learned about creativity. I learned about hard work. I learned learn to have an appreciation for nature and kind of combining all those things together really shaped who I am and how I became an artist uh, later on. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just curious, too. I mean, you write children's books in particular. What inspired you to sort of take that path? What What, what is it about writing for kids that you like? I think it, it's just um, it's such a special thing to get to work on. And ever since I was young, you know, it's like we all have our favorite children's books when we were, when we were young. and We remember those. And to be a part of that as I got older, you know, and when you start families and, and, you know, I even have a granddaughter now. So it's like to be able to share that, that creativity also with other kids and that, that creativity and teaching about creativity and learning, because I think that's really important for, for children to learn about, because when you think creatively, you're problem solving creatively. And no matter what you do in life, uh, I think it becomes uh, an asset for you. Yeah. No doubt about it, John. Well, uh, I'm going to let you go here in a second, but first tell people where they can go to get a, their hands on a copy of this book. Where can they go? Um, well, pretty much any any online store or bookstores uh, should be carrying it now. Um, I'm also going to be in San Diego, so if you're um, um, wow. available, I'll be at the La Jolla Library this Wednesday at 4 and also at the Encinitas Barnes & Noble uh, at 11 this Monday Memorial Day. Very cool. Well, I know there's plenty of viewers out there that will take advantage. John Para, author and artist, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks.